Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we got our new map started and set up our first transport line, which is a train that is going to be carrying oil and fuel to the city of Yulemore as our first you know, bit of transport going here. And look at the train as it's sitting at the, uh, the oil refinery as it's waiting for... You know, oil to be delivered. And then it's going to go ahead and deliver that to the fuel refinery. Get that converted into fuel and then deliver that to the uh, Yulemore uh, station down there. For delivery to the industries in Yulemore. Okay, so I've actually run this a little bit and it is making a not insignificant amount of money. You know, 875,000 if we look at, say, our line statistics. Yeah, about 860,000 per year or so. Now, what I did to run this forward is I actually went ahead and uh, dragged the date speed to paused, which stops the date from advancing but keeps the game actually running. So, yeah, there it goes. So if you get to a particular date you like, or you just want to kind of slow things down for a bit to kind of build some money up, then that's what you can do there. But we're going to go ahead and get this advancing back again, because I want some new tech to show up, because we're you know, 1850 still. Alright, so what I've been using with some of the money that I have made here is help pay down the loan. I paid down the loan to about five and a half million remaining. Just to kind of get this loan interest off the books. Yeah, this negative 300 million here that shows up under investments and in infrastructure is the the costs of doing the map editing. Because in the map editor, doing things like all the terraforming and all of that sort of stuff costs... It shows up as a cost in, you know, in the map... Uh, but it doesn't actually affect your starting capital when you start a game or really anything. And once you know we get that off of the, once that falls off the, the end there, um, it you know we won't see it anymore. And as you can see, the earnings are looking normal again. All right. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be working on some passengers. And what I'm thinking is that we're not going to be doing any passenger trains just yet. I want to get some trams and some carriages going to connect the capital center here to um, Ilium and Yulemore. So the first thing I want to do is get kind of a loop through this complex here. And then get some carriage routes running out to Ilium and Yulemore to drum up some passenger demand. Which I think I can actually see. Destinations layer. Yes. Um, so you can see basically how much demand is running here. There's actually a pretty sizable amount of demand running here already. But I don't think it's enough for... A train to really work well at least from some of the testing I did um, so what I want to do is just get some carriages going and just kind of drum some stuff up but as we can see here passenger demand inside this is pretty good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some trams for that and for for the tram, well, first off, I want to get the like the hub station, which is where we're gonna have the trams heading in, and the the carriages heading through as well. So let's go ahead and get in here and say, what kind of buildings do I want? Uh, we want. 
a bus tram station. I want this to have tram track, yes. Two platforms should be sufficient. And I think we're gonna nestle this in here. Should that be? Yes, because this is gonna kind of be one of the main thoroughfares here. There. And that basically covers that entire town. All right. So, as far as our actual other stops, running through here actually works the best, which is odd, but I'll probably upgrade that road. All right, and then in here, we're probably actually gonna need multiple stops. Uh, let's see, how do I wanna handle this? It's really weird that it, it doesn't include, like, the stuff that's right next to the stop in the catchment. Which is really, really strange. Oh well. This is an industrial area. I'll go ahead and put my stops here in the industrial area. All right, and then we'll have kind of this, some residential coverage here. And that ought to cover most of that, I think. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get some tram track on here. So the tram is going to run through here. Actually, can I upgrade this to a medium street? Since we're going to be putting tram on it. Yep, put some tram on it. There you go. And the tram's going to come down through here. Cross that bridge. And loop around there. All right. I think just for completionists, you know, even though it is covered in the catchment, I am going to go ahead and put some tram, a tram stop over here because it just, it just feels like there should be one there. Okay. All right, so, new line. There. To there. To there. To there. To there. All right, excellent. This is the tram. I'm gonna call it Lagos. Even though it technically covers three different towns, I'm considering this as basically one city. And that is also something that I can do, since I can actually create more towns. If a, if a city is starting to grow and grow and grow and I want to increase its growth, I can add another town to that city as basically another a new district that has formed, essentially. That's kind of my thinking. Alright, let's go ahead and get some trams on here. 
where would be best to put the depot? Probably over here, where there's no houses or other buildings in the way. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some tram. Let's see, capacity 6, speed 12. Capacity 5, speed 11. Capacity 5, speed 11. I think we want to go with the this one. And we're probably going to want a lot of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get... One, two, three, four, five, six. I can only afford six. Okay. That's fine. Get them going. We'll add more in as they become available. But given the amount of uh, passenger demand going on here, this should pick up pretty effectively. Uh, can you head in different directions? I kind of want to spread them out a little bit. Or not. Oh. Well. Fine. Where is our train? Alright, it's leaving with a load of oil. I'm actually going to go ahead and speed it up, because I need that oil delivery. It does struggle a little bit with that climb, but once we get onto some level track... Does speed up pretty good. Now, something I'm probably going to want to do is run a train bringing more crude oil to here. Just kind of push some more crude into this system. Because this brings in 40 crude, it only converts it to about 20 oil, and then converts that 20 oil into about 20 fuel. So the train doesn't run full going back. So I'll need another, another train bringing in more fuel, or more crude oil, to push more stuff around. All right, there we go. Got our delivery. So we have some more cash to play with without taking out a loan. I mean, I could take out more loan, but I really don't want to. All right, well, we're starting to see some passengers here. Eight passengers. Good. All right. Ilium needs a bus stop. No, buildings. Uh, bus. Bus tram. Okay. And I really want to put this in the center of town. And it will knock down two buildings. But that's just kind of the way it is. There we go. Oh, we don't need the tram tracks on that. Uh, take the tram tracks off. Alright, because we don't need a tram here yet. Now, this is a bit 
See, what I might want to do is... Take this street and bring it through here. Ah, do locomotive? Okay. So that we can shorten the travel times a little bit. And where would I want to put the station here in Yulemore? Ah, uh, let's see. Oof, we're already getting into very expensive territory here. Hit the wrong button there. Probably right around there is where I would want to put it. The covers... Well... Actually, right around here would be best. Let's borrow a little more. Ooh, that is going to get in the way there. Okay. Set the line. We're coming from here to there to there and then back to here. And then it'll return back to there. And we're going to call this ICB. Inner city bus, even though we don't really have what we would call buses yet. Um, uh, lag to Ilium to Yule. All right. Need a road depot. Kind of put it just outside of town here. Actually, I might want to put a second one over here. So got a big delivery of something there. Okay. All right, so. Oh, we already have a road depot over here. Ah. Crud. Oh, we'll get rid of that one. Okay. So, vehicles. Vehicles, vehicles, vehicles. So, I'll just pause it here for a second. We want passengers. I like the. Oh, don't want the stagecoach. The Troika. Capacity three, but it has more horsepower. I don't think it really matters. I want to keep the high capacity. We'll go with the stagecoach. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll start with six. And Lecky Road Depot. One, two, three, four, five, six. For a total of 12. There we are. So we'll start from both ends. So that should be good. And 
I can go ahead and repay that million in loan I took. Alright, yeah, we're already seeing good passenger numbers here for the trams. In fact, I may want to go ahead and add a few more trams to the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six more trams to there. All right. So I think we're going to have the passenger demand for it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our line statistics. The tram line is profitable. The fuel line is very profitable. Might want to get a second train on there. That might not be a bad idea, but we'll have to double track that whole line. Not impossible, just expensive. Now, the Yulemore fuel is not making profit, but it's necessary. That's because it's running empty a lot. Because we, we're just not delivering that much fuel to Yulmar. Yeah, we definitely have the capacity for another train. And it's waiting for the fuel to be refined. So we have that oil well. Are there any other oil wells we have in the area? There's one over there. Hmm. So if I want to also use this oil for, say, making plastic. Here, for example. that uh, we're going to need to put in a lot more crude. So we're probably going to need to ship that in. Crude over here, crude over there. Crude there. Just trying to get a good sense of where it ended up putting a lot of the industry. some crude oil there. We could make a ship. Use some ships to... That's a long way to ship some stuff. Alright. There's a... Uh, they're still on their way to Ilium. They'll eventually spread themselves out. I mean, we have a few people wanting to go, but we don't have a ton, so... Sixty or seventy two potential passengers. It's not bad, but it is. Are those guys actually slowing down my trams, or I don't know, twelve miles an hour?
The goal is going to be that we're going to limit the amount of private transport going on and we're going to have them use public. We'll see how that goes. These guys are running full. All right. So what is going to be the next project? I think the next project might be expanding this fuel production. So I'd like to get some fuel coming in to Ikorodu here. The fuel's there. The thing is, is that when you're coming this way with the train, is it's coming with um, crude is coming through here. But let's say I made a second train. Let's say we put a, a station here and ran a connection here and then doubled up this track. So we had a train that would bring crude to there get the refined oil, bring it to here, get fuel, bring that back to there, hop it on a truck or a wagon, and then have the wagons bring it in there, and then run empty back to here. Not ideal, but I think it's something we could definitely do. So we just need some money for it. All right, well, my earnings at negative 600,000. Oh, because I spent a lot of money on vehicles. Makes sense, I guess. And we haven't had a lot of income come in for this year yet, which is weird. Because it is November. because the train hasn't made a major delivery yet. Okay, well, I'll probably have to take out a loan. A little bit more loan. And start working on this project. Now, do I want to use a terminal station or through? I think I'll just go with a terminal. Terminus station. Yes. We want to keep this as straight and level as we can for as long as we can. Alright, and then we have this road we need to cross. fine for now. I guess I'll just kind of keep it straight. I don't need to curve things yet because if we're going to curve things, we're going to come in from here. 
is where things are going to get pricey. Okay. I'm going to need a second terminal here. Right, and we're going to need some platforms for that. Well, that was expensive. Well, we should get a nice pile of cash when this train arrives. We are also at the end of the episode, so... We'll go ahead and stop here, and we'll continue to work on this particular project when we come back. So it's gonna basically come in here, we're gonna double up, we're gonna double track to this point. Out to here, we're gonna have to add... We're going to add another... We'll probably want to add another platform. So we'll have to rearrange how the track comes into here, which won't be a problem. I think. Yeah, it won't be a problem. And then... Get a train on there set that up all right so that's the plan for next episode so for now hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time